Hello, I am Peter van Hurston from the South African National Bioinformatics Institute in Cape Town, South Africa. And I want to talk to you about the Galaxy Public Health Community. So firstly, what is public health? So public health is beyond medicine. It's the science of protecting and improving the health of people and their communities. Now, my particular focus is the part that is responsible for detecting, preventing, and responding to infectious diseases. So when we are doing this, the detecting and responding to infectious diseases, then we have to move fast. The tools that we use have to be reliable. That is, they need to work every time and give reliable uh, results. And the tools need to be accessible to a wide community of people who might not be bioinformaticians as their main job all the time. So Galaxy already has a community of users in public health. So we've got projects like Galaxy Tracker from the US FDA. We have uh, the Aries Galaxy server from ISS in Italy, Sansano uh, in Belgium, ArtBio uh, in France, and then more specialized resources like HiFi at Temple University in the USA that's looking at um, evolution. And internally, groups in uh, the public health realm, like the National Institute for Communicable Diseases in South Africa, Sanbi, where I work, and the Quadrum Institute in the UK also use Galaxy for public health purposes. So earlier this year, we decided that uh, coming together to form a kind of special interest group for the use of Galaxy in public health makes sense. And so we penned a little mission that uh, the Galaxy public health community invites participation towards building and sharing resources that enhance Galaxy's utility for those working in public health, including researchers, clinicians, epidemiologists, and more. So what are some of the things that are strengths and uh, challenges for Galaxy in public health? Firstly, we need to be building tools and workflows together. We already have a vibrant community doing this uh, with, with Galaxy, but there are always too few research software engineers, and we have to work to make sure that no useful tool is left behind. What I mean by that is that sometimes we find that projects uh, are difficult to maintain for the people who created them, so it takes community effort to ensure that valuable tools are supported. Obviously, we're talking about open source tools here. I'm hoping that we can embrace Galaxy projects like the Intergalactic Workflow Commission, because a lot of what we do in public health involves chaining tools into workflows and not just running individual tools. And IWC gives us an opportunity to look at uh, making quality, shareable workflows uh, in the way that we do with tools at the moment, but now for whole workflows. There are particular data management challenges that especially affect us as people trying to respond to infectious diseases. So organizing and accessing reference data when we're not talking about a single genome is quite challenging. And in public health, we care about more than just sequences. So when we have a reference data collection, we want to know where did these sequences come from and when uh, were they collected so that we can use this data to put new sequences in context, for instance, when we are building phylogenies. Um, we also need to advocate in the Galaxy community about enhancing Galaxy support uh, for reporting and usability with kind of batch data sets that we've got. So the kind of workflow that we often get in public health is that you get a batch of sequences from your sequencing facility and you want to create an overall report perhaps on genomic diversity or um, serotypes um, that you've got in a sample, um, drug resistance, and things like that. So this is typically a report that you hand into non-bioinformaticians, um, and uh, our workflows are often non-linear. So the first thing that we do is we get quality control at various stages, and that might mean stop-go decisions about whether we're going to analyze samples further. So, so it's not just about running one workflow from uh, start to finish, we might want to eliminate some samples as we go along. Um, and then we might want to go back and reanalyze samples. So maybe we can uh, resequence something or change some parameters and then update that same uh, final report that uh, I was talking about. Now, we can use features like the 
workflow reporting feature. But at the moment, a lot of this is done by writing special purpose Galaxy tools for, for report writing. Um, we uh, have to embrace training and the Galaxy Training Network is a great resource there. And perhaps this can be integrated within public health training. And then reaching out beyond Galaxy. Um, we are having a birds of a feather meeting, so don't miss that. Um, and then the Public Health Alliance for Genomic Epidemiology, PHAGE, has working groups on workflows, infrastructure, quality control and validation, and training and workforce development that uh, are all useful places to collaborate with. And then on a regional basis, we could work with groups like Elixir and more. That is still in a nascent stage. So I would like to thank all of these people for the insight they gave me into their work with Galaxy and Public Health. Um, and I look forward to your questions.